Hello, Dai here from TimeStep Softworks. Welcome to the 37th development video for Vigilantes. This video will cover the improvements and additions made in the second half of the version 17 update, which is now available from Humble. The map you're looking at here is the second uh, map which has been added in this update, and this is the Black Market Enemy Racket. Uh, the Black Market can, is uh, basically an enemy facility which can be owned by both the Survivalist and the Mafia factions. And what it does at level 1, it provides a local uh, bonus to the equipment level of any troops. And at level 2 it provides a global bonus, so it basically boosts the equipment of all enemies um, in the uh, belonging to that faction. Um, now, I'll, I'll play through a bit of it, but uh, this will play it a little differently than a regular encounter, because no matter, regardless of how many men you, or if your team you have with you, in this case of only two, it will actually assume that you have a full team. You basically need a full complement to have a chance of taking this out. Uh, but I'll play through a bit as I, um, as I talk through the rest of the update. Uh, so effectively this, this brings us to the first of two major additions um, for, this, um, for this update and th that is enemy rackets uh, and these are facilities which enemy factions can build in city districts to provide additional income and a variety of adjacent and global bonuses including better equipment buffs and hot loaded ammo there's a total of eight different rackets so there are three um, main bases one for each faction and five secondary rackets the Elysium lab the black market the training facility the numbers racket the chop shop and each one of these offers different um, economic and tactical bonuses. Now, each, each faction starts with a main base and then from there they decide what they generate income through criminal activities and decide which rackets to build from there. Um, Sam as you can see is I'm a lead character in this in this iteration, and Alina Fury is back here with a sniper rifle. Oh, unlucky. Uh, so moving on from rackets, um, the the second major addition in this uh, second part of the 17 update is the addition of the gang strategic AI. So rather than directing battles, this AI is responsible for managing the gang's overall operations and it will make decisions about recruitment, purchasing upgrades and deciding which rackets to place and where to place them to gain the maximum benefit. Um, the upgrades themselves include things like equipment, um, improved training for gang members to increase their level and improved operational efficiency which increases cash flow um, and also since rackets provide different bonuses and different levels of economic and tactical bonuses there will also be some choices here as to you know which racket is the, the best one to place for the gang's current needs and the, the gang AI, AI will also react to the player's actions. So, if you can, if you attack a gang held city district, it'll reduce the crime rate and income, and it'll force them to expend resources on recruitment. And this will in turn reduce the amount of income they have for upgrades. And depending on the gang and the situation, it may force them to abandon, abandon buffing upgrades for economic ones. Oh, and Sam has, uh, has just uh, been taken down there. Um, so, in, in contrast, you know, if you were to leave a gang, you not not bother really attacking them. They'll quickly gain wealth, and this can be used to you know, improve the equipment, train gang members, and build facilities. Um, so there is a degree of reactivity, um, depending on the gang situation and what you do, built into the gang gang AI. And I think this can be enhanced um, with a little testing. At least that's a it's a bit of payback. Um, but as you can see, it's it's a pretty difficult encounter. Um, the enemies are tougher than they normally would be. They have additional levels. They can spawn more units, and they've also enemies waiting in reserve. So you basically need a full team and in pretty good shape to take this uh, to take these facilities out. Uh, last thing to cover is just a number of bugs which have been identified and fixed. Um, so thanks to Ushas, Nomad, and Red Thirteen for the help there. And that's pretty much it for this update. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or would like to share an observation, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thank you. Bye bye.